welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I will do a review of the Sane Smart No IR Raspberry Pi camera. This is my first review, so bear with me. This specific camera has no IR filter and thus can be used for night vision. It comes with two infrared spotlights that attach to the camera module itself, so no extra power supply is needed. Also it comes with adjustable wide angle lens and of course the flat cable, screws and nuts and a piece of sticky tape. It comes delivered in a bubble envelope and a carton box which seems sufficient to protect the electronics. However the flat cable has a dent in it from the rough trip. It works fine though. The assembly can be a bit fiddly. The nuts and bolts are very tiny and must be put through the holes from the front to the back. If you do it the other way around, you'll short circuit the module with the nuts. So let's start. As you can see, they both have the copper pads, the uh, camera module and the IR spots. And it's just as easy as putting them on top of each other and put the screws through. So let's get started. Like I said, it's a bit fiddly. That's one. On the second hole. These uh, heat sinks, these uh, don't come with uh, the module, but I added them myself because the IR spots, when uh, turned full on, can be uh, quite hot. So this will uh, cool them down. Second screw is in. Now let's do the other spots. Yeah. The second hole. And that's it. Now the spots are attached. Then you have uh, the double-sided uh, sticky tape which you can put on the back of the camera module to attach it to uh, a bracket or something. The only thing left to do now is attach the flat cable, which you want to attach with the blue side on the front. So you have to be very careful because it's very fragile. You have to pull this connector forward on both sides and then it's free to put in your flat cable like this be gentle because the flat cable is very fragile too and once it is it is in just push the connector back 
inside. That's it. And you'll do the same on your Raspberry Pi. So, now let's attach it to the Raspberry Pi. Now you want the flat cable with the silver pads towards you. And then lift up the black bracket. Insert the flat cable like that. And then gently press it closed. And that's it. Attached very nicely. So now let's go on to the computing part. So after you successfully rebooted, you should type the following. sudo raspi-config and press enter. Then go to option 5, camera enable. Then go to Enable, Enter, and then go to Finish. After that you should do a reboot. So once you boot it up and logged in, you can type RAS by STILL space dash t for the time and then let's say 5000 is 5 seconds and then press enter and that is for when you want to take a picture and for a video you type res by vid space dash t for the time and then 12, 000, 12 seconds enter there you go that's all there is to do this package from Saint Smart is really great the quality is good the hardware and the picture and I love that it comes with two compatible IR spots which you can only get at saintsmart.com. One thing you need to think about is the heat that these spots produce. Since they have their own daylight sensors, in the daytime they will dim completely. But when it's dark, they turn on full power, and they can get hot. So you'll have to add some heat sinks to them. I used an old video card heat sink and cut it in four pieces, and used some glue stick to attach them to the spots. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you at my next review.